As you know that we were discussing this chapter of Holi. Okay, so we have discussed. Uh, you can say a few questions. And today forward, we are moving. So question number four is Holi's real name is Sulekha. We are told this thing at the beginning, but only in the last. But one paragraph of the story is Holi called Sulekha again. And why do you think she is called Sulekha at that point in the story? So what does Sulekha mean? Beautifully written. Okay, beautiful letters. Okay, Sulekha. Okay, so it means her name actually symbolizes beauty. Okay, but but actually, what is the reality is that she's not at all beautiful. She's of course not beautiful as her entire face it was covered by pock mark as she suffered from chicken pox and moreover, right? Moreover, she was a simpleton. Okay, simpleton child. Okay, she was mentally backward. She was not able to. you can say express herself and she was also not able to speak even a single sentence without stammering okay so because of this reason throughout the chapter she was called as bholi okay and she is not able to express but at the last point when actual there was need to express herself she was able to assert herself she asserted her you can say opinion she asserted her dignity also she asserted her respect she demanded respect for that bishambar not who was a greedy uh, who was a greedy or uh, who was greedy in nature and he has come to demand rupees 5000 upon looking at her face so at this point holi felt really bad and she felt that now it is the time to speak and she has taken the appropriate as well as wise decision to stand against that man okay to stand against that man and ultimately what has happened she spoke against it and denied to mad just because of this reason the beauty of that point it has been brought about by her name that is sulekha who is wise enough to take right decisions and even her teacher felt proud of her at that time got now find this answer right so next holy story must have moved you yes of course it moved us okay and do you think girl children are not treated at par with boys you are aware that the government has introduced a scheme to save the girl child as the sex ratio is declining this scheme is called beti bachao beti padhao this is of course common you know save the girl child read about the scheme and design a poster in group okay this is activity to be done and we have already done that activity okay otherwise Now think about it. Bholi's teacher helped her overcome social barriers by encouraging and motivating her. How do you think you can contribute towards changing uh, the social attitudes illustrated in the story? So how you can contribute? This is about your just your personal opinion that how you will be able to contribute. How we can contribute by educating girls also? Okay, by educating our you can say. uh in, in the world you can say the social helpers who are working for us okay who are uh, living below poverty line that girl education is of course very important right okay you can also intimate them about the importance of education and how girls can play a great role in earning their livelihoods they need not to be dependent upon men only right so this is about general ones okay so now for this chapter any doubt if you people have because extra questions i will take in the revision time okay any doubt in this chapter now is it clear yes. fine okay so now after that we are going to start with another chapter just a moment please now class 10 next afterwards holi we are going to start with the next chapter that is the necklace okay so what this chapter the necklace is all about the necklace you must have heard that story the girl uh, borrowed a necklace from her friend and the necklace was lost it was very costly and finally she really worked hard they sold their house ultimately in order to pay for that necklace but in the end what happened that it that necklace was an artificial one you must have heard that story okay very common story in other languages also you must have heard that story so in this chapter also matilda okay she is actually invited to a grand party okay for that she is of course very beautiful okay very well kept okay she was married to a clerk not of that you can say well to do family but she deserved to she always deserved more okay 
so she thought that she did not have anything beautiful to wear on the party she has arranged a beautiful dress but by the time also she thought that she did not have anything to wear as a neck piece so finally she went to her friend and then she bor borrowed a necklace it was of diamonds she thought it was very costly but she enjoyed in the ball dance okay and, and finally she was the source of attraction in the party also but what happened that necklace was lost when she came back home her life entirely changed it was just that her decision to borrow a necklace it has completely changed her life okay then they have shifted to another apartment they sold their house they have taken you can say uh, some loan in order to repay it they have to work hard they have to cut down their you can say uh, basic necessities also and ultimately she has her you can say they were complete blown on part of matilda okay it means that just one single you can say her you can say one single uh, that you can say decision can ultimately change our life okay one should be wise enough to utilize money one should be wise enough to use it in a better manner okay so this is of course very beautiful chapter so let us read it okay it is also being displayed here on the screen for online students so i'm not going to explain much about it okay because as we read the beauty of the chapter reveals itself so here in this chapter matilda is invited to a grand party she has a beautiful dress but no but no jewelry so she borrowed a necklace from a friend and loses it and what happens then this i have already told you so she was one of those pretty young ladies born as it through an error of destiny error of destiny means she was very pretty very beautiful source of attraction for all but by means by error of destiny means by mistake of a fate that she was not born to a rich family okay into a family of clerks by mistake she was born to a family of clerks okay this is the reason why she deserves more she had no dowry no hopes no means of becoming known loved and married by a man either rich or distinguished and she allowed herself to marry a petty clerk in the office of the board of education so she did not have any dowry because she was not born to a to rich parents she did not have any hopes she did not have any means how to become rich and known and well you can say claimed loved and she can marry either any rich or distinguished man okay any rich or well you can say settled man but what happened she married to a clerk okay and who was working in the board of education he was a clerk in the board of education she was simple but she was unhappy she was simple in nature but unhappy because she i told told you that she always deserved to be more okay that she thought that she really deserved more she suffered incessantly means continuously she suffered feeling herself born for all delicacies and luxury she always thought herself that she is born for all those kind of luxuries and delicacies and she should enjoy those ones she suffered from the party of her apartment the shabby walls and the worn chairs she always suffered she whenever she is looking the looking her house she is always thinking that it is not so beautiful the old chairs she had okay and she is suffering from poverty she is always you can say blaming herself blaming her fate and the worn chairs all these things tortured and angered her this is not at all giving her a pleasant way of life and she is always feeling you can say disturbed upon looking at it she thought that this is not my life that i am living i must have more okay so when she started when she seated herself for dinner opposite her husband who uncovered the tureen with a delighted air saying to remain that covering okay over the food tureen and with a delighted air saying oh the good pot pie i know nothing better than that she would think of elegant dinners of shining silver she thought of exquisite means beautiful food served in marvelous dishes so when she used to sit on the dinner table with long with her husband and her open and her husband opened up got to reveal that dish okay and he said yes really it is very it seems to be very delicious means his husband he was well satisfied with his life okay he said yes wow that's beautiful i'm really enjoying it okay but on the other part what happened that she always thought of that dinners to be served in beautiful dishes and everything uh, you can say 
prepared in a very good manner and everything served in a very beautiful way she is always thinking of these kind of exercise you can say uh, inviting dishes okay to be served in a very pleasant way to be served in a very mannerful way and she is sitting like a, you can say princess over the table and enjoying it she was just thinking for that she thought that she deserves these kind of luxuries so she had neither frocks nor jewels nothing and she loved only those things she did not have the this is human nature what you don't have you will always love that okay she did not have jewels she did not have anything and this is what she loved a lot she had a rich friend a schoolmate at the convent who she did not like to visit she suffered so much when she returned so she had a one good friend who was rich who was her schoolmate uh, at the convent means during her school days but she said that she did not like to visit her because when she saw her riches she saw her lifestyle and when she returned home she is always feeling very sad she is feeling no i should have also possessed this kind of life she wept for whole days from despair and disappointment you know when you are when you wish when you wish something and you are not getting that what you are suffering from you are suffering from sadness okay you are suffering from you can say despair okay disappointment and this is how what she is of course suffering from she was also suffering from that kind of disappointment sadness because when she is coming from her friend's house she was really feeling bad she is feeling oh my god why i am not going these things why i don't have these things right so one evening her husband returned elated means happy hearing bearing in his hand a large envelope here here is something for you one day her husband he came home and he was very happy why he had an envelope in his hand and he said here this is a gift for you she was excited to know she quickly drew out a printed card on which were inscribed these letters the ministry of public instruction and ma'am george it is rampton asked the honor of uh, mr and mrs ma'am loisel's company monday evening january 10 at the minister's residence so it means that what was it it was what it was a letter okay invitation letter okay so he has got from the you can say minister of education okay he has hosted a party in his house and ultimately he has invited both of them that was really a great honor for her because only distinguished guests were invited there and she always wanted to go in these kind of parties she wanted that she should be a part of these kind of parties she should go there she should enjoy she should enjoy life because she always thought that i am so beautiful and ultimately she deserved these kind of you can say luxuries also but what happened it was not her fate so on that day when she has got that invitation she was really very very happy so instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped she threw the invitation spitefully means with anger with with dislike upon the table murmuring what do you suppose i want with that so now her husband thought she must be very happy but to his surprise what happened she has thrown thrown the invitation on the table she said what should i do with that what is the reason because she thought that she did not have anything beautiful to wear this is the reason she said i am not feeling appropriate myself to go to that party okay so but my dairy i thought it would make you happy you never go out and this is an occasion and a fine one so her husband tried to console her my dear i hope that you would be very happy with this kind of invitation you would have been happy because you never go out and this is really a great occasion for you everybody wishes one and it is very select not many are given to employees she said everyone wishes that they should be invited to that party but not everyone was given this kind of invitation only to selected ones selected employees this invitation was given and you will see the whole official world there and you will be able to see all the officials there all the you can say the persons holding good positions in the office they are invited to that party 
she looked at him with an irritated eye and declared impatiently what do you suppose i have to wear to such a thing as that now she looked with anger in her eyes at her husband she said what do you think i should wear do i have any special clothes to wear there i don't have any this is the problem because she always wanted to look beautiful he had not thought of that he stammered yes then why the dress you wear when we go to the theater now he now he thought yes of course that she did not have anything good to wear but then he remembered what about that dress you wore when we went to theater it seems very pretty to me you look really very beautiful in that dress and even i like that dress very much he was silent stupefied means unable to speak anything in dismay in sadness even his husband know that she did not have much to wear and he was also you can say quite at that point at the sight of his wife weeping and when he looked at his wife that she was weeping out of despair he was at one time quiet he was not able to speak anything he then he stammered what is the matter what is the matter he like he used to ask what's the matter my dear what's the matter why are you crying by a violent effort she had controlled her vexation means that you can say uh, that confusion okay that you can say anger okay and that you can say anxiety that she was suffering from and responded in a calm voice wiping her moist cheeks so with very great effort she tried to control her and her anxiety okay and she responded in a calm voice listen she wiping her wiping means cleaning her cheeks with tears she said nothing only i have no dress and consequently i cannot go to this affair give your car to some colleague whose wife is better you can say fitted out than i she said actually thing is that i don't have any beautiful dress to wear and who will be perfectly fitting to this occasion give this card to somebody else okay we need give this card to somebody else okay so that 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 person would be better than me who would be appropriate to go to this kind of great occasion because i don't have any good dress to wear he was grieved naturally husband will feel sad and he loves his wife a lot he tried to fulfill his desire but answered let us let us see matilda how much would this suitable costume cost something that would serve for other occasions something very simple now he said okay matilda let us discuss the matter don't worry let us find out a good dress who will fit this occasion also and afterwards you can use it for other occasions it must be a simple one she reflected for some seconds thinking of a some that she could ask for without bringing with it an intimate refusal and a frightened exclamation from the economical club now she reflected for some seconds thinking of a sum now then she first few seconds she thought that how much amount it needed to be you can say spent on dress in order to produce an elegant one to produce a uh, to purchase a very good dress then she could ask for without bringing with that immediate refusal and a frightened exclamation from the economical club then she thought if i would say that this dress would cost there that much i don't think so that she would be able to get even his, her husband he would also not be able to purchase that you can say costly dress she thought for a moment finally she said in a hesitating voice i cannot tell exactly but it seems to me that 400 francs ought to cover it she was afraid that how much a mind she should speak finally after thinking for a while she said i don't know exactly what a good dress will cost but i think 400 francs with 400 francs we will be able to purchase a dress he turned a little pale for he had saved just this sum to buy a gun that he might be able to join some hunting parties in the next summer so he turned pale listening 400 francs it is not a you can say small amount it is of course a large amount so finally what happened he had saved that much amount to buy a gun because he was fond of going to hunting expeditions in summers so he 
thought that I have saved that much amount to purchase a gun. With that amount, I can purchase a gun also. Now, he wanted to go with some friends who went to shoot larks on Sunday. Means larks means some birds. Okay, shooting expedition. Okay, that is a source of entertainment for him. Now, nevertheless, he answered very well. I'll give you four hundred francs, but try to have a pretty dress. Now, his husband, after thinking, he thought that nothing is much better than his wife. So he thought that okay, fine. I will give you these four hundred. You can say francs, but always try to find a good dress. Don't spend it in an unwise manner. Now, they are preparing for that party now. Now the day of the of the ball approached. Ball here means that ballroom dance. Okay, the day of the ball approached, and Ma'am Loisel, Ma'am Loisel means Matilda Loisel. Okay, Ma'am Loisel seems sad, disturbed, anxious. Now the day is coming near, closer and closer for that ball dance. Okay, the, at the party. She is turning out to be anxious, unhappy. Now, what is the reason? She has got a dress. What? Nevertheless, her dress was nearly ready. Her husband said to her one evening, "What is the matter with you? You have acted strangely for two to three days." Now, her husband said, "Now your dress is of course ready, but what is the thing? Or what is the matter? That is, you can say that is of course uh, disturbing you." It seems to me that you are not well for past two to three days, and you are of course behaving in a strange manner. And she responded, "I am vexed. I am unhappy not to have a jewel, and nothing to adorn myself means embellish myself to add on my beauty. With I shall have such a party stricken look. I would prefer not to go to this party." She said, "Actually, the thing is that I don't have any beautiful jewelry to wear in order to accentuate my beauty." Accentuate my dress. How can I go to this party, showing this poor look? She decided that I am not going to party. He replied, "You can wear some natural flowers in this season. They look very, you can say, very chic. Chic means very in, very beautiful, very attractive." He said, "You can wear some, you can say, natural flowers. They also look." They also look very beautiful these days. You can wear these. Now, she was convinced. No, there is nothing more humiliating than to have a shabby ear in the midst of rich women. She said, "No, this won't be the right one, because this won't be the right one." She said, "No, it's not an appropriate choice. That when other ladies they will be wearing beautiful dresses, and I'm wearing those simple flowers, this won't be the right option." 